Hello, welcome pen friends. Welcome to Chris's Inked Pens for January 2021. I, I'm so excited about these pens. Um, as I look at them, there are eight and four of them were gifts. One, two, three, four. And one was an accident. That was this one. And then three are regulars. The, this one here. And these two regulars at least since last year uh, 2020 so I can't believe we're we're here finally or we're almost here as I film this there's just one more day left in the year as I film this so let's get started okay so this was a gift from a pen friend a beautiful unexpected blew my mind still is blowing my mind gift and I'm going to put any attributions and initials and things that I can in the, the comment section so that I don't spend all day <laughs> on the thank you portion. But um, this is the Twisby VAC 700R Iris with a broad nib. And it is just amazing. Um, I also had an email from a pen friend who told me how I could fill it <clears throat> without any problem at all. To take the nib unit off and just fill it and then dip the nib and that's what I did and I had absolutely no trouble and I'm excited I, I'm so excited this could have been my only pen and I can say that about several of these that I inked for the month and I would have been excited so it's just it's a little bit overwhelming mind-blowing here next up is a pen I never thought I would own same as the Twisby Vac 700 this is an Opus 88 Coloro I hope I'm saying that right. Colero in red. It says red, red as the color. And it's beautiful. And it's got a medium nib that is so smooth. It's just incredible. Mercy. Um, I'm still just like in awe here. It is an eyedropper pen. Okay. Now I've got to move on or I'll just spend all day on one of, one of the pens. Okay. So um, to keep myself grounded and, <laughs> you know, <laughs> semi-stable, here's my Lamy Vista with a broad nib. <clears throat> it's an old standby that I just absolutely love. It's, it's gotten quite a bit of battle wear, but <laughs> there it is. And then this, this is the Ferris Wheel Press brush pen and it is in the spring violet and as near as I can tell the box didn't say or anything it's it acts like a fine nib it's not actually labeled as such but it's either that or it's a fine medium considered and I you know looking around on the website it seemed you could choose so I believe it's a fine nib that was the accidental um, showed up in my pen box and I got to keep the pen okay next up is uh, was also a gift. This is a, a gift from Manuel for Christmas, and it is the Noodlers Ahab. And I did take off the flex nib and put on the medium non-flex nib. I, I'm kind of getting along better with that on the Cherokee Pearl one, and so I had ordered two um, on purpose. This is the King Philip uh, finish, and I'll let you guess what ink I put in that one. <laughs> At least until I get the ink tiles out. Okay, and then this is a just my favorite pen from last year I think I don't know I every day might be a little different but this is the Twisby Eco um, rose gold and white with the stub nib it's a 1.1 I think oh gosh I'm not even paying attention to that I mean, it's it's this Twisby standard stub nib so I am just thrilled I I told myself maybe I should choose a different pen but this is the one my heart wanted so I chose it and then next up is uh, Lamy All-Star in Vibrant Pink with uh, the other broad nib that I have on it. Um, I love this pen, especially with the broad nib. I didn't love it with the medium nib, but anyway. Okay, and then last but not least, another gift from a pen friend. This is the Quebeco Lily Put with a medium nib and I am not sure on the finish I think it's a fire blue but I, uh, to be honest I haven't done my research enough yet so I'm gonna have to do that and I'm probably gonna get corrected if I'm wrong but um and that would be a good thing actually so it is a medium nib and it it's just a wonderful pen I never thought I'd own one of these another shock in the in the birthday Christmas mail surprise zone so those are the pens let's take a look at the inks <clears throat> okay one more thing though that i wanted to say so in the case of the twisby uh vac uh 700r and the opus and um 
the Ferris wheel press pen, and the Noodler's uh, Ahab, and the Lilliput. The pen kind of drove the ink decision, if that makes sense. But then uh, I went looking <laughs> for the other three. Um, you know, I, I went kind of looking for what color I might have missed and wanted to see. Because I went kind of heavy on the purple. But you'll see that in just a second. Okay, so for the uh, Twisby uh, VAC 700R Iris, I chose Bunga Box Lamont. It's a, a favorite ink that I just love to see. And I super love to see it in a broad nib, but it looks good in everything. And I think it, it really complements the pen. Okay, and then next, uh, this ink was included with this gift of this Opus 88. Am I saying that right? Opus 88 Colo Coloro. Coloro. My goodness. I was just listening to a, a video about this, <clears throat> which I needed to see before I even knew, you know, what, what was the inner workings of this pen. Uh, but I can't seem to remember. It was a, a, an Apple Bomb video, and maybe maybe I was just thrown off. Um Anyway, it, this is Robert Oster, Antelope Canyon, and it's a Pen Chalet exclusive. Um, when I look at it, I start to think, is it orange? Is it brown? It's an earthy color. It goes really, really well, with, especially with the trim on this pen. It's just an incredible uh, ink a pen matchup, and I couldn't do better on my own. So I just, I mean, what a lovely gift. I, I'm still just spinning over these things, and I've got lots of thank you letters to write. I've, I've cranked out some emails and texts, but I've got a lot more to do. Okay, so for the Lamy Vista, I chose Diamine Kelly Green. It is the color kind of of my bullet journal for the for to start the year, and it I usually spend about eight months in these, um, so it'll be a good portion. Did I just mess everything up? Probably. Um, this color is is a favorite color, like. I don't know, it's green, it's, I'm thinking heart chakra, I'm thinking bright, better days ahead. So that's that one. Okay, and then next up, for the little Fair Swill Press brush pen, which I intend to review within the next week or so, uh, I chose Roaring Klinger Casia this time. Because that ink, I know exactly how it performs, and that's going to help me evaluate the, the pen better and kind of... Uh, you know, work with it and begin to get to know it really well. This is second fill. <clears throat> okay. Not with this ink. I had a different ink in it before. Okay. And then for the Noodlers Ahab, the King Philip edition, which is kind of cool because you would not want to put this in a, a demonstrator. We are now learning, me and pen friends who participated in the 16-ounce bottle of Noodlers ink. Um, it, it's, it can stain. It doesn't always, but it can. So this is ideal, and I guess it's why they made the pen. And like I said, it has the medium nib. Goodness, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm supposed to be telling, talking about the inks. So it's Noodlers King Philip Requiem that I have in there. Not quite sure what's going on with my brain today. So for the Twisby Eco... I chose, um, and it has the stub nib, Pure Pens Porth Kernel Cove. And it's, it's really pretty. And I had such good luck with Diamine Aqua Lagoon in this. I thought, oh, I'm going to try a similar color. Um, it appears lighter on the tile, but I, I, it does not do that coming out of the nib, and I'm excited to show you. Okay, so next up is uh, the Lamy All Star Vibrant Pink with uh, Diatremenus Purple Violet. I love this ink. And I have absolutely no right to, to love another purple ink, I don't think. <laughs> oh my goodness. Because I'm just a purple ink monster. It, like a cookie monster. It's awful. But anyway, I really like that in the broad nib. And I did a little profile over on Instagram. If you're interested, you can look for that. But I want to write with it all the month of January. So next up, for the, the Caveco Lilliput, I put Caveco Midnight Blue. It's a cartridge. And... Uh, I like this ink a lot. It'll be a great note taker and carry around everywhere kind of thing for lists and jotting. And I think it's going to be great. But let's find out. Let's do um, what will be my first. I, I have done just a little bit here on uh, an idea tablet that I got in an ink flight. So I kind of got a general idea. But let's go and get in my ink journal together and we'll, we'll do some writing. And then we'll look at the report card from December after that.
Okay, so here we are with the Twisby uh, VAC 700R with the broad nib and that just gorgeous, uh, one of my very favorite purple inks. <clears throat> and it's, it's so smooth, it's just an amazing nib. <clears throat> There's a lot for me to learn this month. It is very interesting because um, I have been kind of, not in a rut, but I've been using pens that I was really familiar with. So it's like my whole furniture in my mind is moving around. I predict that this will be just amazing for letter writing. I love a broad nib for letter writing, and I have a lot of letters to write. If I could spell here. <clears throat> okay, let's do a little... Yeah, that is really a nice wet writer. And I could write with it and stare at the pen all day. And I can say that about several of these because it's just incredible to me. Okay, so next up is the Opus 88 Col Coloro. Color wow, I'm really going to have to figure that one out. Um, I have a, a brain block about it with a medium nib. <clears throat> This, this too is very smooth. It, it feels super smooth and it's medium. I, I guess I said that. <clears throat> Opus 88. Let me really look at how that's spelled. Coloro. It shouldn't be hard for me to say it. It is, it, it is in the red finish with a medium nib. And the ink is Robert Oster. Like I said, it's super smooth. Antelope Canyon uh, Pen Chalet Exclusive Okay, and let's do that little thing where we Okay, so next up is the Lamy Vista with a broad nib And this is Diamine Kelly Green. Oh my goodness, this is pretty. <clears throat> I remember that this was sent by a pen friend. This sample. For that matter, so was the Bunga Box. And, and we already talked about the canyon. So, um... I'm not sure what would be here if it wasn't for pen friends. Mercy. That's gorgeous. That's going to be an uplifting color. And I, I liked how it looked with the uh, Antelope Canyon and with the Lamont. I really did. Um, I don't always think of those things, but, but I really liked that. Okay, so next up is the Ferris Wheel Press brush pen with what I think is a fine nib. And it is... Uh, Spring Violet is the name of this color. And if you missed my other video, what happened was I, I made an order with a gift certificate from a family member. And it, it was, you know, for me, a relatively large order, but this pen turned up in it. And it was an accident at their new distributor, but I contacted them immediately because I, I figured, I mean, it was so much value in the pen, I needed to return it. And I didn't ink it up right away, but she said I could keep it. So, oh mercy. Um, I am going to be reviewing it. <clears throat> I'm having to learn how to receive, and in a big way. And sometimes it can be sort of uncomfortable. You, you think, oh my goodness. Um, whoops. I don't want my lucky day to be someone else's, you know, loss. And that's what I told her in the email. Okay, so here <clears throat> we have it. And then next up is the Noodler's Ahab in the King Philip color. It's, it's kind of a translucent purple, which is not necessarily showing up right on the camera, but we know how that is. And it is that medium non-flex nib. <clears throat> Oh, that's pretty. Um, I really liked it last month, and we'll talk about that in a bit, so I'll try to be quiet. But <laughs> Okay, Noodler's Ahab. King Philip is the name of the finish. 
and it has the medium non-flex nib and this is uh, Noodler's King Philip. I think this is going to act different on different papers. And I'm looking forward to some of the paper that I think of as dry, maybe doing better with this, because this is a gusher. I mean, it is. And I've got that nib in there nice and snug, and it's still a really wet writer, and I like it. I really do. Um, I would really like to get a clear, um, I'll demonstrate noodler's pen, but i got to be careful about what I put in them. And I feel kind of that way more and more with my demonstrators. I don't want to ruin them. Okay, so here's the Twisby Eco Rose Gold and White. And it's got that lovely um, Pure Pens Porth Kernel Cove. And it's just gorgeous. And this is a wet writer. This Twisby stubs are so nice. <clears throat> okay, so this is Twisby Eco 1.1. Um, I should have written... Okay, rose gold and white. Oh my, it's just going on so nice and wet. It's just incredible. Just had to do that. <laughs> I bet you that noodle is just still drying too. <clears throat> Pure pens. Colonel Cove ink, and it's gorgeous. Oh gosh, that's nice. Oops. I'm going to make sure, oh, well, I streaked right through part of the ink name, but that's okay. I'm trying to move along because I know that I want to talk about uh, the report card, too. So, Okay, this is a Lamy All-Star in vibrant pink with a Lamy broad nib. <clears throat> and this is just gorgeous. I, I went a little crazy with purple recently. But I didn't, I, uh, after I profiled this on Instagram, I did not want to clean it out. I wanted it for January, so that's what I'm going to do. Mommy All Star. I mean, that just that ink is just really flowy, and the nib too. But there's something about this, this. Um, what am I doing? Vibrant <laughs> pink broad nib. Coco stole my chair, and he's fast asleep on my office chair. So I'm in a kitchen chair, kind of awkward here. But isn't that cat life? <laughs> and he's feeling better. He was a little under the weather. <laughs> A T R A Deatrimus <laughs> Violet Wait a minute <clears throat> Violet Purple Uh oh I'll have to correct this if I'm wrong in the um it may be purple violet I'm thinking but I'm go I am far far away from the uh sample so I'm gonna have to correct that if I'm wrong. Sorry about that. <clears throat> That'll just lead us to know there's a question. Whoops. I wanted to do the little smear because that really helps too. That, that is just a super wet writer. I like it. <clears throat> okay, I've got ink all over. Okay, so this is the little uh, Caveco Lily Put. <clears throat> I have never had such a fancy metal pen like this. Okay, it, it does screw to post, so that makes it a nice long length. That's cool. And it's got a little medium nib on it. Oops. See, it always seems like more to fill, more area to fill when it's a medium nib. <clears throat> so, Caveco. Lily put. Medium. Now, I'm just going to put a question mark. I, I apologize. I haven't had time to do this. It was like, this isn't going to get done if I... So I got on, and this was what I think it is, but the little box, which is gorgeous, didn't say or anything. So I'm just guessing, and I do feel a little silly about that, but perfectionism will, what it results in for me is just not getting anything done at all. So I'm, I'm going to work through that. I'm not going to do that. And we will correct it as we go. It's got a nice patina on it, and there's a story behind the pen, so it, it's just awesome from a pen friend. Thank you, pen friends. <clears throat> Caveco Midnight Blue is the cartridge that I have in it. And I, I've been using those cartridges in the other little uh, Le Bon uh, cartridge only pen that I have. It's a nice ink and it, and it carries well. It, it doesn't dry up. It's been really good. So we'll see how it does in that pen. Okay, so now we're going to flip back. 
but I need to find something to make sure that this doesn't yeah because I know some of that still <laughs> drawing oh my goodness okay let's look back on the report card from December let's see if we can get that just a little bigger for you as you can see okay so we, we had a glance at this once, and I didn't see any any reviews. I went ahead and did the report card after I got a flurry of writing done, like the first two and a half weeks or so, almost three weeks of December. I wrote out Christmas cards and letters and stuff, and, um, and now I've got a new reply pile. But first up was the Noodler's Ahab. That was the Cherokee Pearl one. Now that I have two, I'm going to have to make sure to... Uh, designate that with Noodler's Rome Burning and I gave it a B, B plus. I think maybe that ink in that pen was so flowy that it was a little over the top but uh, the nib gets an A plus. It, yeah it was awesome. It was just amazing. So I, I probably maybe I was a little harsh there um, because I had no complaints really except that it maybe worked a little better on a, a paper like Claire Fontaine versus um, some of the other papers but it did okay with um, my Tamoy River paper too. It it may have uh, seeped just slightly, but it didn't bleed through. So then uh, the J. Arbon, um well, the Diplomat Magnum with a broad nib, with the J. Arbon 1670 Rouge uh, Hematite, that was excellent. It was excellent, and I, I just love that. And the color was really good. It was nice for Christmas. It did, you know, it dries a little bit more... Um, not glossy, more, um, you know, if your eye looks at it, because you're seeing the, the shimmer, the gold shimmer, kind of creates a little optical illusion, but I thought it was gorgeous still on the Christmas cards and things. Next up was uh, the Genhao X750 with a 1.5 Goulet nib, the blue marble edition of the pen, with Diamine Aurora Borealis. I'm still getting used to writing with that wider stub. I think maybe uh, my handwriting doesn't look quite as nice with it as, as a 1.1, but it was beautiful. I gave it an A. I said I need practice with a 1.5 stub. Yeah. So next up was Diamine Golden Ivy in the Twisby Go with a broad nib, the clear one of the Twisby Go. And that was my favorite ink of the whole month. I just, you know, the combination and everything, uh, it was excellent. And it was my favorite December combination. I ended up, let's see, in, in the other video, I remember I said um, it's cleaned out, but I, not before I had refilled it again. So I really wrote a lot more heavily with that one. <clears throat> okay, so next up was the Lamy Safari uh, Broad with... Oh, oh, that's the Candy Violet one. It's a purple pen with Van Diemen's Diamonds are a Girl's BFF. And I gave that an A. It was very, very nice. The base color is just so pretty and I loved it. I ended up having a, a, you know, inking a ninth pen, but we'll talk about that when we get there. Um, the Genhao X750 with a broad nib with J. Arbon Rouge Granat. That was excellent, too. That was another A. It was a beauty, and the flow of that J. Arbon ink was incredible. I loved it. Uh, next up was the Moon Man M600S uh, with a broad nib. It was the broad Yo-O nib from, um, oh... The place in Australia, and I'm, I'm just drawing a blank, where I ordered the serendipity. I'm, not, it's, I'm still drawing a blank. That's awful. Okay, I think I need to eat or something. Um, and I had Annie's Purple Mix in it, and it was beautiful. It was a pleasure to write with. Um, just amazing. And I wanted, let's see, I wrote, try in a Lamy Broad nib. Okay, so it was a bit gushy in that nib, but that was fine on in most cases. But I think that the Lamy Broad nib is just slightly less um, gushy. And I think that they're not dry at all, but it's nice. And I think that the next fill, which may be the end of that ink sample, that was mixed by Annie as special, um, I'll do it in the Lamy Broad nib. So then the last of the ones that we looked at was the Twisby Go Broad in the Sapphire with J. Urban Kiani du Nepal. That was excellent too. The color, the flow. I had used it some, so um, maybe, you know, getting in with that green Christmassy ink, that really, really was my favorite, my A+. Plus. But this, this was excellent too. It was very compatible and it cleaned out well and I was really happy. 
So then I went ahead and I did a ninth pen that hadn't been discussed in the December inked pen. I did the Lamy Vista um, with a broad nib with Ferris Wheel Press Double Raspberry. And I noticed how similar these two, the Van Diemen's Diamonds Are a Girl's BFF. And, uh, you know, the base colors just look so similar. And it's no wonder I like both of them. So I put uh, A and very nice. And I wanted to try in... Oh, okay. So this was a reversal. I wanted to try this ink in the broad number six nib, like a Yo-Wo or a Goulet nib. So that these notes are actually helpful. Good going, Chris. <laughs> Something useful that I can, uh, you know come back to that's why I do this and this has really focused me because I used to be the type that had 20 or 30 pens inked up and I really didn't remember much about the experience later except for the things that stood out as terrible or absolutely you know uh, amazing and nothing in between would I remember but with eight or nine pens I do remember uh, you know better so let's turn back just real quick to the pens and then um, then I'll need to go because I'm keeping you so long. This is kind of incredible here. Um, let me go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Whoops. Oh, dear. Okay. Seems like I'm hearing beeping and everything else. You know, usually when I hear a beep, I think, oh, my gosh, the, the mailman is bringing more stuff. Um, it's like the noise that the animals hear, I guess, when we're going to feed them. <laughs> okay, so these are the, the eight pens. And, and you've seen the inks. I'd like to hear about what you're inking for January. I'm just, I'm very optimistic. I love this green color. Now, this morning I was looking at uh, Pantone's colors. And they're doing like a gray and a yellow. You should look it up. It's really cool. They're doing a dual color, I guess, for 2021. But this is definitely so far kind of the color that calls to me for, for my new year. For at least beginning it. And... Uh, <laughs> I don't have New Year's resolutions, but I have quite a few intentions, and so I'm excited and very, very hopeful for the country and the world and, and everyone. So I hope this was a bright spot for you. I'm certainly genuinely excited about these um, pens, the old and new, but I just want to say a special thank you, and I will see you on the next video. <clears throat> Bye for now.